Right, this is where we left the uh, last video. I was putting the holes in. We've now got the holes top and bottom. Now what I've got to do is I'm, I'm going to put the dividing head on here and I want to be able to hold this so I can rotate it to turn the outside features and get these angles on here. I was going to do it on the rotary table which would be nice but I haven't got a bit long enough to do the whole side and, and what will happen I think is if I do get a bigger bit it's, it's just going to chatter, it's, it's not going to work very well but anyway I'm going to try this on the um, on the dividing head so anyway that's what I'm going to do but what I need to do is get a mander now I've got this piece of brass which I'm going which has got a I'm going to make the um, cylinder liner out of this piece of brass so what I'm going to do is turn the OD of the brass down press fit it into there use the brass as a mandrel so that I can do the the outside features on here and then what I'll do is I'll drill and uh, mill the center out to form the uh, bore the brass will be in there and then I've just got to form the bore inside the brass and that'll be the cylinder lined and everything it'll all be done in one uh, sort of procedure then otherwise I've got to make up a separate mandrel to do that but if this has got if the brass has got to go in there anyway then I might as well um, turn that down and uh, put that in to start with so that's my next plan well it's not my next plan my next plan is to fix the mill I don't know if you can hear this rattling coming from inside the gearbox so I need to find out what that is so the uh, next project will be stripping the mill down to find out where that rattle's coming from yeah I don't know if you heard that but there's a rattle coming from inside the uh, gearbox of the mill so I'm gonna have to strip that down have a look at that see if I can find out where that rattles coming from do any necessary repairs before I continue I think because I've got a lot of mill work to do and uh, I can't I can't have that the teeth on this uh, drive for some reason in this position I think it might have been when I overloaded it the other day trying to use a 16 millimeter drill bit the, the teeth seem to have uh, deformed anyway um, so I've contacted uh, the manufacturer well not the manufacturer I've contacted the supplier to see if they've got a spare and fortunately they have got one in stock so that'll be on its way to me and uh, I'll be able to get that fixed fairly quick alright let's get this bit of brass set up spinning quite nicely right I think I'll um, probably put some tail support on there but uh, I'll just get it faced off first
bugger, bugger. What the hell's up with that? Come on. I'll put some glue around the uh, mandrel as well. Right, that should hold it. Right, I'll leave that for a, a few days now. Okay. Yeah, we've now got a mandrel on there and eventually I'll machine this centre out to form the bore. Uh, that's that's going to need a few days to dry anyway. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.